A very warm welcome to Pierre Colombet, Gabriel, Magadur, Marie Silem, and Raphael Merla. In one word, it's the famous, the world famous Kakuyor Eben String Quartet. We all know and love. My name is Wolf Dieter Seifert. I'm the general manager of G Handler. Maybe I should say the world famous or text publisher. <laughs> and if I look into the market, I doubt that there is a big market still for string quartet ensembles, especially for the young. There are so many wonderful young string quartets coming up. So I'm asking myself, where can they make money from? Is there enough audience? So I would like to ask you as being also a teacher, you teach string quartet music in the master classes and at universities. So I have two questions. Why do you do this? And is there a market? What do you think? Why do we do that? I, th I think first um, that we are really lucky to have the opportunity to, to teach the young generation and to make them maybe love our everyday work and job. Um, and this passion we have to, to dig into the, the music and to, to search all together um, um, in the music and also the relationship we have, um, human speaking, um, in a quartet. It's an it's, um, experiment that we, we, we love to share and we, yeah, we, we want to, to, to make them um, aware of that. I think when we were young, even if our access to the, the social network was not so great now it's it's everybody makes know himself through through the, the, the networks but but anyway we're in france when we were young only four or five quartets existed and uh, <laughs> now it's it's a tsunami it's an explosion of, of string quartet all around the world we have many young and good good groups in, in in munich here we we know a lot in france in belgium in, in holland everywhere and um it's it's amazing to 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 see they want to do it they, they have passion they work every day and uh it's um yeah it's a question that we we can wonder if there will be a, a job for uh, any of them uh, even if there are a lot of competitions a lot of managers now taking care of, of that and uh, i think uh, yeah the, even for the audience the the passion for string quartet is growing up because um, I think we have more and more uh, uh, chamber music concerts. Being a publisher, I would like to ask you, when you go into the classes, what kind of scores do the students bring to learn the music? Is it always the word text? Is it always Handler? <laughs> Certainly not, uh, but uh, it, it, it happens, it still happens, that students bring some very old edition, which to our perception now doesn't make any sense anymore. But it's very important to realize that the old text necessity is really some kind of a synchron phenomenon to the historical informed way of playing. And without the Harnoncourt revolution, probably the need of old text would, wouldn't have been that big. I'm glad Henley did not wait so long to bring the main classical repertoire. Yes. Because if you put Mozart and Haydn and early Beethoven and early Schubert, if you put them out of old text, you access nearly to another language. It's like old style 19th century art of playing where people were thinking very honestly and good willing. They would supplying some lack of composers with transforming slurs or eventually change notes. There's the famous story of the dissonance in quartet Mozart. But yeah, now uh, I think most of our, uh, our generation, we, we all made the experience. If you once play a, a Mozart quartet, very old style uh, edition of Mozart quartet, and then switch suddenly to, to yours, suddenly everything becomes clearer in terms of articulation, meaning, lightness, and... Uh, so you will... But, but it still happens. Some students yeah. don't know, and it's that, always very funny. So if you teach, you will... Um, advise them to throw away the old edition and to use the word text edition and you have your arguments. It's uh, demanding, yes, mm -hmm. of course. There's repertoire still which not, of course, uh, um, concerned by this. But when 
when this is the classical repertoire. I remember when we were younger, we also bring our score and it was old edition. We were not able to, because you, you, it was too early for you maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but talking about repertoire, uh, it would be my next question. Um, during the last decade, we really forced uh, to expand our catalog, especially with the string quartet. And so Handler at the moment is pretending to offer the core repertoire for the classical romantic. But I would like to ask you uh, if you would have a wish list for me. Uh, maybe you can answer very shortly, everybody of you. What, what, what do you miss in the Handler catalog? Luckily, you did already a wonderful job. And as we have only 20 years of concerts behind us, we still have a uh, thousand of uh, work to do with your, uh, which are already edited. But we are inside projects uh, nowadays, uh, actually, with the Belchea Quartet. Yeah. And we play the Mendelssohn Octet. I know. And we, we don't have the material. We have old editions and it's so unclear. And we were all eight talking. We mm -hmm. thought we had this meeting with you and it should be Thank wonderful you. to ask you if the Mendelssohn Thank Octet you. I, will I, I be can, out I can promise. for a day. Yes, I can this promise. is wonderful. Mendelsohn. This is my first wish. Okay, thank you. What about your wish? Uh, Janacek. Janacek, two. Yeah, the two, two, two both Janacek. So we, we, we played the, the, the first one uh, already, but uh, we had already two editions in the quartet and trying to understand. It was so different that we we thought maybe we have to throw one and, and trust <laughs> just one, uh, just by chance, I don't know. Maybe I would say four recorded? Four recorded. Yeah. Oh, right. I, I would yes, find it also interesting. Listen. I think it's time to introduce uh, the Handler Library app now, the digital version of the complete Handler catalog. You all know that we have this app out about six years now. We are the only music publisher in the world who invested a lot of money and brain into developing a digital app. I know that the Katuare band is not using the app. Why not? I actually do use it. It's recent. Recent. While we were learning Brahms number no. three recently, or a Mozart G major, I had the iPad on the, on the stand and knowing we would anyway play on paper on stage. It was not the question of training myself to play with the pedal on the iPad, mm. but it was very interesting to use the little uh, historic remarks uh, because you don't have to uh, umblätter and, and find where it is. And the second good thing is just tap and go to the corresponding uh, place. Score and exact. Part. But for this, I need a compatible pedal, which I don't have yet. Got it. Marie? Uh, I have to say I was almost uh, totally in love with that. I have to say it, but I really, I'm, I'm also really romantic and I really need to touch the paper and to, to write with my pencil. And yeah. I, you know, I, 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 yeah. I don't know, I'm a bit old fashioned, but maybe one day. Maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe I should give you the app with a candle light. Yes. And then, <laughs> oh my God. then you make a new start. <laughs> I think as a second violin, violinist, I will do a compromise. I will use my paper for playing in concert, but I will definitely get it as he get uh, for uh, scores and uh, be with me traveling with and looking at every score. Because if I bring it with the paper version, yeah, I need a second suitcase and it's impossible. Yes, yes. Yes, and if we, of course, we are traveling with that and we forget, forget one score at home. We, we are sure we have everything there, so you don't have to lose the iPad, it would be a problem. The good news for our listeners is that the Katuere Band is providing the complete Beethoven string quartet for each separate voice with the fingering and the bowings for the Henley app. And this is really remarkable and will revolutionize. Also, think, I think the rehearsing of this repertoire, because in the past there is no printed string quartet with the fingering of anybody. Maybe I have to explain for all the musicians, they don't know what's happening. You have the, your, let's say, the viola part of Opus 18, number one, and you have the, the clean, naked urtext. And in the future, you can click on the name of Katuré Ben or Marie, and like a layer, the urtext comes with the way how you play it. That brings me to another question. Is it really your 
way to play? Is it really your fingering and your boring, or is it, or is it more for the like a pedagogical target? I think the fact that we accepted it, yes. the idea is to give <laughs> some a piece of you. So you give your fingerings. It's it's not yeah. to 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 tell people, okay, play play uh, this. It is good for you because we ne we will never know. Um, it's it's so personal with the the morphology, with the instrument you play, with the of course. But I think it's it's uh, it's good to to just share honestly what we do. Very good. Very Believe me. Very good point. Yeah. Believe me, there are some uh, violinists looking at my fingerings. They they will they will think, but the guy is crazy. Because sometimes I put four, 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 you know, oh. this kind of fingering. Some people avoid four finger because it's weak. I love to use it. This kind of things. You will do it for the app, your fingering, your personal thing. Of course. Thing. Wonderful. Because if I use a fingering, it's always for my personal uh, expressive reasons. So I hope I, I can share it to, to some violinist is uh, my 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 passion to yeah of course i'm sure that there are so many young string quartets out there in the whole globe and not only the youngsters also your competitors will will have a look what is he doing so there will be uh, i think a, a big success with our idea to share your personal um, instructions so to say for with the beethoven okay it's a it's a huge project and it will take some time but um we have the plan to latest uh, to publish it in the next Beethoven year. So I hope that we are still alive. I would like to go a little bit more deep into the next question. What's the deeper reason for the fact that the string quartet is such an established ensemble uh, for so many yeah, centuries? And not the string quintet or the string trio as a you know as a group, so the discipline reign uh, is the quartet and not the quintet. Why? It's very probably uh, both uh, physical, natural, and also cultural. But the, the physical reason, the acoustic reason, is quite easy to to understand: is that the human hearing, listening, can't integrate too many bass lines. If you would uh, um, put two, viol uh, two double basses, one viola and one violin, the warmth but the large uh, spectrum of the two ba double basses would make one poor violin and one poor viol violist probably useless or even covered. Or... And acoustically speaking, it's just because of the spectrum. Uh, the natural harmonic is octave, then fifth, then fourth, then third. So it's every, the, the higher you go, the, the closer it becomes. So it's logical that the two violinists, they share the upper register. And if you consider the distance, we have one octave distance, yeah. but she only has a, a fifth distance to him. So that's absolutely following the, main, the rules of the nature. And culturally speaking, it's because of the uh, Enlightenment Revolution, 19, 18th century, String Quartet became, under the, the writing of Haydn principally, the, already the discipline reine because of the revolution it, it incarnated. No conductor, no polyphonic instrument, no soloist, just for equal personality. You play around the globe, the String Quartet repertoire from Haydn to nowadays. I'm interested to, uh, to learn from you, is there a different audience in the different uh, society, in the different uh, countries? Because I find out that my uh, success, my commercial success for Urtext edition goes more and more to Asia. So the Asians are more and more open to our music. I, I will always remember the first time we went to Brazil, to uh, Rio, we played I, I, I don't remember what we played, a, a piano quintet yes, with... Yes, Dvorak uh, with jean Frédéric. Dvo yeah, with uh, Neuburger, yes, a Dvorak quintet. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the audience, so first, was very young, and they stood up and shouted, uh, like in a, a rock uh, <laughs> concert, really, because they don't make a difference. Yes. They were excited, and that's all. They, they didn't. Nobody said to them, "You know, it's classical music. You have to be serious. <laughs> you have to be quiet." But they were quiet because they were listening, 
and uh, you have to respect you 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 have to no no they they were behaving be, like they wanted to behave and in Africa also in Nairobi uh, we played for the young um, in, a, in a very miserable place in, in the suburb of Nairobi fantastic place by the way because uh, it's an association who takes care of um, uh, of young people and bring them to music and it's they save their life uh, really and we played a Beethoven uh, quartet for them and every time there was a, a fortissimo subito like so every page <laughs> <laughs> they were oh, like this oh, yeah. reacting is wow. and why in Europe we don't do that because we, I, I don't know, it's classical music, you know. So I, and in Japan, they are so respectful of the job we do because they know it's, they know the commitment. It, it, they are a very serious society. They like to to do things correctly, and they know that when they are going to listen a string quartet, things have been thought, worked very hard, and they, you feel the respect for 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 our job and of course in Germany when we play we 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 feel spied but we like that we know that half of the audience knows every note and knows the, the what is the structure what is the form sonate what well, yeah sure and um, in in America some of the audience in, in in the US have a great knowledge but they behave more simply maybe relaxed yeah i think uh, korea we should talk also about korea or about uh, France or, or Italy, South Italy, but we don't have enough time. I'm sorry to say we are also hungry and <laughs> thirsty and it's really time to say a very warm thank you.